Good afternoon, YouTube. Welcome to the channel. I am Tyler Bikes. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button. We got a ton more truck content coming. If you guys are in the cool truck type stuff, you definitely want to be subscribed. I am headed back from work right now, and I just got the call. My bumpers are done for the truck that I've been working on in the whoa working on in the previous videos they're finally done from paint i ended up going with color match on both the front and back bumper so they're done it was 1500 bucks cash i'm on my way right now to pick them up and now we are pulling onto a main road make sure to put the seat belt on safety first so i am on my way to pick up the bumpers from the paint shop i'm gonna get them in the bed of the ooh thinking that one through i do not think i can fit both bumpers in the bed of this truck because i took them down in the duramax the big white truck with the eight foot long bed no toolbox no tire gate definitely a lot more spacious in the bed i am going to go home grab the white truck go to the paint shop pick up the bumpers head back to the garage then we're going to start putting bumpers on so it's going to be sweet like I said, color match the front, color match the back. I'm super stoked to see it all come together. It was not a cheap paint job either, $1,500, and that was a good deal. It was gonna be about almost $1,800, and they had a, some kind of deal going on for to tax whatever, because it's tax season, I guess. Tax time or something like, something like that. Anyways, it got down to $1,500 cash. I'm super excited, I'm gonna go pick it up. I will pick the camera back up once we have bumpers. All right, guys, here is the roll pan, and you can see the paint turned out super nice. Shiny, sparkly, looks pretty freaking factory if you ask me. Now, I know this is not the one you guys are waiting to see, but I'm gonna save that for after. First things first, I gotta wash the truck because my truck is pretty dirty right now. So I'm gonna wash this truck, get the back bumper installed, and then throw on the front bumper and reveal it. And I gotta tell you guys, it looks really awesome. The bumpers are finally done. Color matched on the truck. Definitely glad I went with color match. Definitely glad I didn't put any holes in the bumper. It just looks so clean. The body lines just flow so good. It looks it looks awesome. It looks almost factory from back here. It looks really good the way it just flows together. And that is the welding that me and my dad did. My dad helped me a lot on welding this, but the paint is just so perfect too. I did not put the shackles on just because I didn't think those would look that great on there. I kind of like the super clean look, nothing really on it. That's why I did a roll pan in the back. I like the all flush look. And you can see we got the roll pan back on, perfectly color matched there. We got the LED strip, which has a running light that I didn't hook up because I do not like the look of running lights on that little brake light. It has a reverse light, turn signals and brake light. I'll show you guys a clip right here. All right, we got reverse, left, right, brake. Hazards. Solid brake, that looks sick. And you can see we got the LED back on the inside of the roll pan for the license plate. I hooked up some new floodlights. These are floodlights. I had spotlights before, now they're floodlights on there. And the truck is just coming together. It looks super awesome. I do have a huge thing I just ordered for this truck that's gonna require massive modification to put on. Not gonna drop any hints about that just yet. It'll be in a future upload. The parts haven't even arrived. I literally just got them ordered yesterday and i'll give you a hint 
I got the same exact thing coming for that truck as well. So one coming for both trucks. Now, I know what you're thinking when you see the truck looking all dirty. You're like, Tyler, didn't you just wash this like two seconds ago in the video? And yes, I did. But I noticed. So here's how it went. So I got home, washed the truck. That was first, as you guys just saw. Then it got dark. Too late in the day to put the bumpers on. So the next day I go to work, come home, and get the back bumper on. Then I had to wait to get that LED strip in the mail another day. So that showed up, I got it installed, got everything on the back bumper squared away. Now, why didn't I start with the front bumper? That's because once I got it home, I noticed a big scuff mark right on the front of it. So as you can imagine, spending $1,500 on paint for the front and rear bumper, I was not very happy with a giant scuff mark running right along here. Don't know how I didn't notice it until I got home, but I did not. And I know exactly how it happened. It happened when they were loading it into the bed of the truck, of this truck, because I cannot fit it in the bed of my truck. So I kept the roll pan and took this one right there, right back, showed them they were super cool about it, said, oh, we're gonna try to buff it out, see if it'll come out. And I said, do whatever you gotta do, but this had better look perfect when I come pick it up and take as much time as you need. No rush, I want this done right. So they said they'd give me a call sometime next week when it was fully finished. And I got that call today. They had let it sit overnight, it finished yesterday. And then they had it baked and everything. And it was just sitting, letting it dry, whatever, you know, whatever they gotta do. So I go in, I look it over very carefully before I take it this time. And it looks perfect everywhere. The edges are super crisp, like really clean rolls no drips, no scratches, no uneven coloring. Like everything looks perfect on this bumper. And I noticed they had taped it up from the back because the back was painted first and then the front was painted separate like the day after. That's why it took so long. And they had taped off the back. So I asked and of course they repainted the whole front bumper. There was no buffing that big scratch out, especially since I think they kind of rushed it the first time and put it in the truck when maybe the paint wasn't completely dry and it made it more susceptible to scratches and scuffs. So this time I wasn't gonna risk any scratches or anything like that. I actually took the truck down with the wrenches, sockets, nuts and bolts that I needed to install the bumper and I installed it right in front of the shop. I had two of their guys help me. They actually held it up on the truck while I went underneath and started all the bolts they were super cool and helpful. And then I finished tightening them all down, looked it over one more time and took off with my brand new bumper that is finally finished and it looks awesome. I can't wait to go out and get some really cool pictures with this and give the truck a bath again because now it's dirty again. And I can't wait for that new part that's coming because it's gonna be one of the craziest parts I have ever put on this truck. Super extreme, it's the most one that this company makes. I don't want to give any hints away, but it's the top of the products from this company. It's insane. And like I said, same one is coming for the Duramax. So we're going to have two trucks with whatever these things may be, and it's going to be insane. So make sure to subscribe to see what that is and how they go, because it's not something everyone has. In fact, I have never seen anybody else in person with it. I have seen a few trucks on Instagram have the exact one that I ordered two of. Anyways, bumpers are done. Color match to the truck perfectly. And I'm super happy with the way it turned out. Except right here, truck's filthy, need to clean that. Anyways, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you guys like the truck, like the video, anything like that, give it a big thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching. I will link down below that light bar strip because it's actually really cheap on Amazon and it's really good quality. Quick side note, I know a lot of people have DM me on Instagram asking how I get a trailer hitch receiver and a roll pan because, well, and have it look that clean. So what you're gonna wanna do is come under here, make your own holes on the frame and put, just put it back where you want it, mark it up here, drill your holes and then bolt it on as you would with factory holes but now you have your own holes. Also, a little side note, I added these little reinforcement steel 
braces to the roll pan so it's super solid in there because the roll pan just comes with five little self-tapping screws that were not completely capable of holding that in place on its own. So I made it a whole lot sturdier with those two braces. Anyways, before the video gets too long, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe, hit the thumbs up button. Until next time, see you guys later.